don't do that to me, buddy. <laughs> you can go any way but that way. We. <laughs> it's a 15, 20 pound carp. We. Going through that hole, or I'm dragging this rod through there. Oh. <laughs> Oops.
Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Anybody? Oh. Mine was playing tricks on me then. I'm thinking, should I work the hole? Or should I just take the prime spots and move on? He's a nice little fish. Got a lot of meat on them this time of year, so they're really counting for a fight. But when he hit, I thought he was going to be much bigger than that. But, um, you know, still good fun. Oh, he's got some weight in him. It's a chunk. Just using today, I'm just using a little TT double spinner. I got a 1.6 jig head on, number 2 jig head. Believe it or not, he's bent that. That's how a little fish hit it that hard. Anyway, I'm going to uh, turn the camera off. Nah, it's going to get a photo, but it's not worth it. I'll let him go and see if we can get another couple. See you, buddy. Basically bent the hook out. I got the drag on pretty tight today. Got a bit of a no-argue outfit. 20-pound braid. Only running a 12-pound leader, but it's strong enough. Now let's just see if he's schooled up there or they're spread out. We'll soon find out. expecting to get one along that edge. And I thought we've got plenty of daylight so we'll work the whole hole while I'm here. That's why bass fish is such a challenge to me. It's not just the the fish but what you gotta do to catch one. Lucky. Oh yeah, good fish here Josh. Oh, got him still. There's some good fish here today. Geez, they're fighting. Oh, another chunk. what creek bassin's all about. There's a little spinner blade from TT put on. Nice heavy 1.6 jig head. A little paddle tar from Atomic. Another one of these South Creek broods. Basically what I've been doing is just looking for 
bank bank, they'll be quicker than hurt this fella. Looking for back bank they might hold on. And dragging across these midwater timbers. I've got Josh up there, I might get a photo of this one and then let him go. It's beauty. Jeez, they, they really are fighting like the bass that I got addicted to uh, back in the day. Hey Josh, are you about somewhere? I'll get a photo, mate. Just walk down to the same sort of spot as that that school was sitting on there. You know, we've like had the hard bank and then the timber in the middle. Check out this chunk. It's been uh. It feels like it's just going to be a cracking afternoon. Look at that. Feel a look at the weighting in. The weighting in. Yeah. So I mean they're not long. They're just chunks. Sorry, buddy. Listen, I'll oh, turn you off. So we can draw another big girl out of here. Oh, don't you hate that? Got it. That's that heavier leader, see? Lighter leader would have just done a loop loop. But this is what's doing the damage. I don't want to move on to the next snag because it seems to be every, every one I've come to. I oh, know, there's still more in there by the look of it. They just, it just seems to be like clockwork, isn't it? Drawn across the bank, across the snag, and then they, they hit it. Now you just put the little chatterbait on, didn't you? Yep. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's well, make. Is it? Yeah. I, I'm so impressed with them. I, I've, like, to me, they're catching me extra fish. These things are bringing them up. They're following these. They're not actually committing to them like they're committing to that. Unreal. Nice silver bass too. He's only just rolled in. He's a lot skinnier than some of them. So. Yeah. Got a surprise. Did you want a photo of that one, or are you just going to throw him back in? I've got the footage. Right. Yeah. Got plenty of photos. He's see how silver he's though, he's just yeah. he's just come in. Geez, they're hitting hard though. They they're all hitting like their forties, aren't yeah. they? I had a fairly light drag in too. Um, yeah well I had the op yeah, did. I had the opposite problem. I, I had my drag too heavy and then when I backed it off the bigger fish hit. <laughs> But it seems to be a trigger on these snags. Oh, there's a tap. Run one through there, Josh. Straight through the middle of that. In the middle? Yeah, right where I am. See so in between those two snags? Probably not far enough through. I sort of feel like they're, they're coming from the back bank. And then as the spinners and stuff are going into the timber, they think they're going to lose them. Yep. They just got whacked just there. He hasn't had another go. Well, it's obviously just school. I'm going to go down and look for another one though. This one. Yeah, <laughs> even these little ones are fighting like mad. Come here. Oh, there's some weight in them. 
Oh, a nice chunky one. As you see, we're just working around all the midwater snags today and uh, they're producing the goods big time. They're not all big fish, but some of them are. Some of them being crackers and um, it's more the way that they're fighting. Running the new Stratic Shimano, it's got actually got, uh, it's got uh, nine kilos of drag. What have I done here? Hmm. Now that's a different way to take a photo. Hmm. I've done something to my phone. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh. Well, that's how you let him go. It's something to my phone. Hey, I got it. Oh. You're gone. Let's try that again. Yeah, they're just schooling up around these midwater snags, so bumping these little spinners over them. I'll run a little TT from uh, TT. Oh, spinner bait, a little double blade. The trick I got that spread out nice and wide, and then run a one six jig head with a number two O hook on it. So it's a big, heavy rig, and the whole idea of it is to not come up on the draw. Pretty well, the perfect combination of spinner to spinning reel outfit you can do mostly I fish too quick There's certainly no shortage of bass in here today though I'm going to move on to a fresh snag every snag I've hit so far produced a fish over 30 centimetres so the best thing about it is they, they're school up so I can come back here in about 10 minutes time when it gets a bit darker oh we should go across that and hit it with the weight bait It's that time of night where you just start targeting all this mid-water. I sort of didn't expect to get a hit here. But if we go down here where there's a snag, you can see I bet you there's a bit of a difference. That little snag there is on the edge, so that will produce later tonight. What I expect to get a fish is on that deeper snag. I'll run across it, get that spinner up high, over the top and slow it down. Yeah, quite quite work. Another little bass. It's getting a bit dark to film now, but that's six snags. I've done like that midwater snags, and it's produced. This is probably the smallest fish of the day. It's produced all six of them. Pull fish off in just the same way. Seems to be you got to draw it from the other bank into the snag. Double spinner from TT. It's another nice little chunky bass. There might be another one in there, but I found. I'll just try again. Up, up and over it. And every fresh snag I hit, I'm onto another fish. So. To me, it means that this whole. Oh, I've just missed another one. 
there's a little drop off just there and he's he's chased me to the drop off. Let's try it again. I've only one two cast after I get one and I go to the next snag just simply because it's been producing too much. Yep, there's another one. They're smaller fish now, so I think that's why they're a bit more game than the bigger ones. The bigger ones you seem to only get one or two off a snag. These little guys will keep coming up. I know, yeah. There's a bass fisherman in my mind saying, get to another snag, this will be bigger fish. But at the same time, it's hard to leave a snag that's producing fish. I'm going to get him up over that snag again, drop him down the other side, just roll him along this edge. Yeah, that's three from three. Get him off. I said these aren't big, but I know where the big ones are, so I'm going to go surface fishing in about ten minutes' time. There we go, that's three from three. I'm going to rip it up at the link in. Get it over the top of that big snag like that. Drop him back down. And then just see even slower. That's the hat trick. We're going to move on. Find a bigger one. Spook any of them. I mean, that's not fun. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you, mate? <laughs> oh, I'm shaking from that one. As you can see, I've got 20 pound braid. It's only a 12 pound leader. The hooks, the reason I haven't gone any heavier with the leader, because uh, it's probably at its point about now. I won't keep it up over all the go weed. It's just a don't argue outfit. The stout. The uh, Stratic, I probably got it on about, I don't know, two, three kilo. Like I can just stop him in his tracks just simply by this. He won't. He's pretty well stuck there, unless he bends that hook out. And of course, the reason I got the seven foot Zadius is one for reach out here, but just the power. So 
Let's turn that fish. <laughs> but uh, there's several ways you can fish for these cart ones. A real finesse, light line way, which I started this morning with. First fish and didn't work. So I took the two rods down today. One, this is my bass outfit. So um, the second one to come to this. Anyway, uh, come this way. It really is, you don't argue outfit. I mean, he's still green, this car. But I'll turn you off because uh, it gets boring from here on in. <laughs> that was fun. See you, buddy. <laughs>